Welcome to another episode of Making Something From Nothing. And in this episode, we're gonna be making green sand since everybody's been asking me how I make mine. It's really easy, fast, and cheap. I start off with a $4 bag of sand from the Home Depot. And this is the play sand like you put in a kid's uh, sandbox. Buy a bag of that. Put it in a bucket because it makes a mess. The next thing you're going to need is the cheapest bag of fragrance-free cat litter you could buy. Uh, make sure it says clay on the ingredients. And a few supplies you're going to need here. Where I live, you could pick up a 25-pound bag of cat litter at the discount store for about five bucks. You're going to need a really fine strainer, and I picked up this nice one over at Walmart for a couple of bucks. And a few extra containers. You'll see why we need those in a little bit. And a little scoop for the sand. Go ahead and cut the top off your bag of sand so you can get to it pretty easy. Then get to work sifting out all the uh, fine gravel, large pieces of sand, rocks, bits of wood. Find all kind of stuff. Throw that stuff away. And then sift some more. And keep sifting. And when you get tired of sifting, sift some more. Sifting 50 pounds of sand doesn't take that long. I'm aiming for about 30 pounds. And if you have a really fine strainer like me, you get some really nice flour sand. I mean, this stuff is just like a bag of flour. From experience, I know this crock pot holds about 15 pounds of sand. So I only need two of them. You only need to sift the sand when you break open a new bag of uh, play sand. Once it's sifted, you really don't have to sift it again. And the quality of your casting really depends on the quality of your sand. So you want to get out all that garbage and just toss it. And if you do a good job, you're going to be left with sand that looks like that. And here I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like side by side. Here's the stuff we sifted. And here's the garbage we pulled out. Big chunks, rocks. You don't want that in your green sand. The bucket weighs two pounds. So I ended up with 28.2. Now we move on to the kitty litter and we're going to pulverize this stuff down into a fine powder just like flour using a blender. Right out of the bag this stuff is extremely hard and comes in big chunks so the blender comes in handy. And you just want to be sure not to overheat these blenders. Uh, their duty cycle isn't, you know, made to run for 15 minutes solid. You'll just end up burning it up. So, you know, take it slow and uh, do a little bit at the time. And after you're done sifting out all the fine stuff, you could put the other uh, big chunks, you know, in a container and then toss them back in the blender and pulverize them again until you get fine flour like that. Now the ratio of sand to clay, at least what I use, is somewhere between 10 and 12 percent. Uh, I like to, you know, kind of get around 11 if I can. And that's just me. 
So if I have 28.2 pounds of sand, I'm aiming for about three pounds or maybe just a little bit more of the powdered kitty litter. So here I'm just transferring the powdered uh, stuff that we just did over into my container where I hold all the uh, powdered uh, kitty litter. And that's probably about three pounds. So this crock pot weighs 5.6 pounds. So I'm just going to add in my powdered uh, kitty litter until it weighs 8.6. And then I'm going to call that good. Doesn't have to be exact. A little high, a little low. You, you want at least 10% though. So now it's time to add the powdered kitty litter to the sand and get it all mixed up nice. I use a drill with an egg beater and I wet it down with water. That's all I use. Water, kitty litter, and sand. And the first time you mix it up, it, eh, it takes a little while. But, you know, once it's mixed up, you can just uh, re-wet it later and rejuvenate it. And it doesn't require much work. So I add a portion of it, you know, maybe 25, 30%, and then get it mixed in, mix it up, use my hands, throw in some more, rinse and repeat until you have all the clay in there. Continually adding water as you go. My spray bottle holds about a quart of water. And I used just a little bit less than a quart of water for this 28 pounds of sand. And of course, over time, it's going to dry out uh, if you don't cast for a while. So you're going to have to re-add water and uh, go ahead and mix it back up. The sand is starting to hold its shape a little bit from that deep hole that you saw. So I'm just giving it a squeeze test and uh, it's still a little bit dry. So... Keep adding water and keep mixing. Now at this point I can tell just by the look of it that this top of the bucket is pretty much done. And I know the stuff on the bottom didn't get to see the drill that much so I go ahead and dump it into another bucket and you can see it's a little bit dry on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and get the bottom of it mixed up. And then I split the two so this way the drill can get to it a little bit better and I'm doing a squeeze test on one bucket and that looks pretty good so I'm going to do a squeeze test on the other bucket and that one's good so we're done well it's time to give it a run see how the sand actually works I'm not casting anything today, so I'm doing this uh, for everybody watching this video just as a test to uh, check out the new sand. I can tell from experience the sand is right on the money and it's going to work really good. And after you've uh, made your own green sand after a while, you'll get to know when it's right and when it's wrong. Because sometimes you have to add more clay because sometimes that stuff gets burnt out. How I make my green sand seems to be one of the most common questions, so I thought I'd do a dedicated video on exactly how I do it. It's very inexpensive to make, and it works great. So I encourage you to... Uh, you know, rather than buy bentonite clay, just grab some kitty litter and pulverize it. As you can see, it makes a really nice mold and it works well. So I hope this video helps everybody.